Hey Earth Signs, this is your reading for the end of August 2020. Please like the video and subscribe to the channel so you can get updates when I post more videos because after this video I am going to post Earth Signs what's coming in for you for the beginning of September. So let's get started with your reading for the end of August. So this is for Earth Signs. That's going to be Capricorn, Taurus, and Virgo, Sun, Moon, and Rising. So let's get an Oracle card and see what's going on with you this these last few days of August, Earth Signs. Okay, Earth signs. So we got uh, Muscovite, and so this is a crystal card, and so it's a heady crystal, um, and it's used as a navigation tool for explorers of the supernatural and synchronistic. So it seems like Earth sign, you could be getting quite a few synchronistic hits these days, uh, noticing synchronicities and investigating what those could be telling you. Uh, you possibly feeling that these synchronicities that you're experiencing are uh, leading you or navigating you on your spiritual path at this time. Uh, and it also says that uh, people who need this stone are pragmatic empirical and reasonable so that's totally like an earth sign um, and anyone who has ever asked themselves how did I not see this coming so perhaps there's been some kind of uh, tower moment in your life in this uh, in August or the end of August earth sign um, perhaps something has happened that you felt like you should have seen coming and so maybe this event is causing you to look closer at the synchronicities and signs in your life so that you can learn from this experience and possibly learn how to uh, discern a little more uh, just so you don't get yourself into similar situations. And uh, it looks like earth signs, this, this event that happened, um, maybe you feel that you could have seen it coming because you have some psychic abilities yourself or use some intuitive tools such as tarot or oracle cards. Um, maybe you're really into your spiritual practice. And so perhaps that's got you kind of confused about how this thing that happened could have happened since you're utilizing, uh, you know, your future seeing skills. So it says when to use it, uh, when you want to believe, um, and when you feel like you've been missing the signs, when you have a problem logic won't solve, and when you've blown the lid off with too much meditation, microdosing, or uh, moldavite and need to get a grip. So it says develop your foresight. So earth signs for anybody who is just getting into... Um, maybe tarot or divination or somebody who's watching videos like this. It seems like maybe you've just kind of overdosed on it a little bit. Um, and right now is just a really strange time with uh, the energies. Like um, things do feel a bit heady, I think, for all signs, for all people. And there's just a lot of energy out there floating around that's kind of looking to attach anywhere it can. There's just a lot going on, uh, you know, in the media, uh, regardless of where you live with uh, coronavirus and politics and um, all kinds of things. Uh, so, so that's out there. And it seems like many of you could be just tuning into these subtle or not so subtle energies that have been really flowing through the collective at this time. So if you're a little bit new to uh, using these kind of tools, perhaps, or maybe even not that new, but, um, you know, in the last few years, maybe it's, you know, you got some information that you weren't quite prepared for, or honestly, what I'm getting is that you may have picked up some energy and shared that with somebody else through your divination techniques, and perhaps they weren't ready for it. So, uh, you know, sometimes that plays out in ways that we just couldn't foresee. Um, but that being said, it can trigger us to work on our discernment and ways of delivery and 
and really with tarot, honestly, like question asking, that's the, for me, that's, you know, the big key is just knowing or sensing the right question to ask to get answers that you understand. So it seems like you've uh, crossed the time on your spiritual journey where just maybe another look needs to be taken at your uh, discernment practices in conjunction with your spiritual practices. So you also got the card of Bloodstone, um, which does talk specifically about Capricorn. So uh, this may resonate more for Capricorns, but this is a general earth sign reading, so it could resonate for everyone. Um, and it also talks about earthiness and uh, talks about uh, some time in the Middle Ages. So maybe some of you have been doing some past life regression or some looking into your ancestral history um and it also talks about how bloodstone has splotches on the surface and um some believe that that was a sign for the blood of christ so um some people could be contemplating these types of things or contemplating some uh ideas about christ consciousness or trying to integrate uh ideas like christ consciousness into their spirituality and it's uh, just describing that you might be doing a lot of spiritual work right now, um, maybe a lot of physical work as well, and psychological work. So this speaks to me as a heavy time possibly for earth signs to do some shadow work, which also has shown up for, for the other signs. So right now we might just be caught in this vein of, of shadow work. So it says that some of you might be feeling uh, bled dry by some of the connections that you have and it is time to get back connected with your body and start uh, just feeling into your own senses and connecting deeper with your the signs and, uh, and senses that your body is giving you, which goes along with uh, the first card that was talking about synchronicities and picking up signs and meanings. Um, so it seems like there's some things that your body wants to tell you physically, so it would be helpful at this time to tune into that. Um, some of you may be needing to get more sleep or be feeling tired. Um, it would be healthy for you to get some exercise and some healthy nourishment. And if you have been isolating in your house, um, which many people have because uh, many people are still uh, taking quarantine measures, it says that finding some way to get out of your house um, is going to be helpful in motivating you at this time in just feeling better. So there's lots of creative ways you can get out there. Um, a healthy way is to go out and connect with nature in some way. And then that way you can still st stay socially distant if that's something that you're needing to do. And also you have hematite. So it's, um, let's see. So this card is talking about um, energy movement and moving good energy where you need it and moving bad energy away from where you don't. So possibly um, you may be taking part in some Reiki or be considering learning Reiki um, or doing meditations or other spiritual work that's just helping you move some of this energy around. And you could be interacting with this energy that I uh, discussed just a bit ago about collective energies. Just there's like a, you know, kind of an assault on many sensitive people. It feels like with, with so many intense energies coming in and they're energies that are arising from new situations that humans haven't necessarily um, interacted with before. So, uh, you know, sometimes energies make like a pattern, you know, so if it's something we've seen a lot before, then we might naturally gravitate towards how to channel that energy where it needs to go. But since these things are so new, um, it just takes a little more time and a little more effort to figure out how to move these energies around. But I take this card as being a really good sign because it shows how in tune and in touch you are earth signs with yourself and that you are thinking about uh, some of these energies being not not of you. Like it seems like you're 
realizing that you need to not be attached to some of these energies that are coming in because they may not necessarily be for you or, you know, particularly connected with you as an individual. They're just kind of out there. So it also talks um, about that you may be feeling stagnant, which goes along with the whole staying in the house thing too, um, feeling isolated. So, uh, and you also could be overthinking something with um, a, a crush or some kind of love interest um, just really in your head. So I, so again, this is just a double confirmation that getting outside of your house and outside of the space where you spend most of your time, if you can, just might alleviate some of this uh, stress and, and overthinking. So... And earth signs uh, being, you know, the, the stable ones of us all and being the grounded ones, this energy that we're all experiencing is pretty heady and out there. So you may be feeling somewhat ungrounded. So again, really a strong call to go out in nature. Um, you can take your shoes off and just go barefoot in your yard or take a walk. Um, it doesn't have to be anything like huge and take all day just any way you can to connect with the earth especially through your root chakra um, can really help you feel grounded and stable where you guys like to be so um let's see if there's anything else in this card yeah so it says when you want to pull energy from the earth below and use it to make big things happen align with your wholeness so yeah, Earth Signs, it looks like Spirit's advice here for you for the end of August is really to ground and do some grounding exercises or grounding spiritual practices, especially with Mother Nature, connecting with the Earth and opening your root chakra to take in um, some of this blessed energy that the Earth always has to share with people who are there to connect with her. And um, so just get outside, try to do some of those things change your scenery up a bit and that's going to have you feeling better if you're feeling stagnant right now and that's what I have for you for the end of August earth signs so please like if you resonated with this video and please subscribe so you can see more videos like this my information is in the description box below if you'd like a personal reading and I also have a blog on my website where I give uh, free advice and spiritual tools and some other fun things so I will talk to you soon thanks